In this video, I'll be talking through how I made this bookshelf out of three quarter inch birch plywood. Enjoy. So this video is actually originally made for my Instagram account. This is why it's uh, so skinny here. So I apologize for that. But first step is to cut down the three quarter inch birch plywood. This is a sanded plywood I grabbed from Home Depot or Lowe's and cut it down to the dimensions you need. I'll be dadoing in the shelves so it'll give it a little bit more strength. So once you have all your cuts made on the table saw and miter saw, then I went over and used this straight edge and a palm router. I'm using a three quarter inch wide router bit on this palm router. As you can see, I'm placing and making sure the straight edge is square. Everything's clamped down and just going through. These are actually both the side panels at the same time with that dado. And then here's a close up shot of what that looks like. I uh, just did a single pass. I went a quarter inch deep, which will give it a nice little shelf to sit on, but not too deep that it rips to the other side. Next step is to assemble everything. That was my wife there helping me. This is actually pretty cumbersome. So I have it in clamps now, dry fit it, and then you can see I'm gluing up. I'm using Type Bond 2 wood glue and reclamping everything. And then I have the brad nailer. I'm using one inch, 18 gauge uh, brad nails there with the Craftsman brad nailer. Uh, super convenient that it is cordless. So definitely recommend that. Lots of clamps on this one. Want to make sure everything's square and locked in really tight. So more brad nails in the bottom and then reset all the clamps. This is a overview or roundabout shot that, that shows all the clamps you can see, just trying to get equal pressure all across all the surfaces so it glues properly. Then take all the clamps off. I let it sit overnight, uh, just under 12 hours for the glue to dry and remove all the clamps there and put those away. After that, I used a one quarter inch thick plywood, a sanded plywood to create a back and then set up my little spray booth. This is just inside my two car garage. I used just a white paint. That's a satin finish and this Wagner paint sprayer was an absolute lifesaver to give a, a really nice finish with no brush strokes. I uh, started inside the cubbies and then did the outside. I went back and actually did a second coat to make sure it was completely uh, perfect. And here is the final product. Uh, this is actually for a customer of mine, so it's not in my house, but really happy with the way this turned out. For whatever reason, plywood gets a bad rap, but it's really a nice product. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe and God bless.